Howdy folks, welcome back to Blender. Okay, so in this video here, we're gonna make some mountains. For the first time, I'm not gonna start with the queue. I'm gonna delete that right away. I'm gonna add a plane. Now, the thing about a plane is it's two-dimensional. It has a top and a bottom, it has no side. Okay, we can't even, if we tried to scale it, we can't scale it by Z. There's nothing to scale. It has no side, okay? So this will be good for scaling up. We're going to scale it up on every other axis here. I'm going to go to 20 on my keyboard there. And then I'm going to go into edit mode by pressing tab. Okay, or you can go up to the menu over here. Now it's in edit mode. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to mess this up. Okay, so I'm going to cut some lines in it so that I can see, um, I can grab on to things, so I can pull things up and pull things down. So think of this as like a, a piece of silk or a cloth or something like that, and I'm going to pinch part of the middle and pull it up, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it here, and I'm going to, it's, it brings up this whole menu here in edit mode, okay? I'm going to right click, and the very first thing that pops up there is subdivide. So I'm going to subdivide here. Now that's not enough to grab onto here, so I'm going to use this menu here, and I'm going to cut it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cut it ten times. But you know, not that's not even enough. So I'm going to press A, and I'm going to right click again to subdivide it. And I'm going to right click one more time. There we go. So we should have a big sort of complicated uh, mesh of cuts. Now if I went back to object mode, it doesn't look any different. It's just a big flat plane here. But if I go back to edit mode now, pressing tab, you can see that it has all these different cuts in it. And vertice, I'm in vertex selection mode right now, so I'm selecting vertices. I can select each square. I can shift select on various ones. I can select edges. Okay. I'm going to go back to vertex selection mode, and I'm going to grab a vertex. And like I said, it's like pinching a piece of silk. So I'm going to pinch a piece of silk. Isn't that beautiful? It's like a big spike. Now, there's not a lot I can do with that. That doesn't really look like a mountain, does it? I could maybe go and select the faces of this mountain here. And I could try scaling it, and it just sort of becomes a bigger mountain. I could try scaling it on Y, but it just kind of, you know, I could make it that way. But I don't want to make it that way. I want to tell Blender to do it smoothly. Okay? So I'm going to grab a new tool. You can see it looks like a mountain even up here at the very top. This new tool here, okay? This is called the Proportional Editing Tool. A shortcut for it is O. You can see it just lights up at the top when I do it. Okay, but I'm going to put it on here. And I'm going to grab a vertex. Anywhere is fine. Press G to grab it. And I'm going to pull it up. So I'm going to pull it on Z. And I'm going to go up. Now that doesn't look any different. Until I pull... You see this new circle that's on there? This little circle? The base of my mountain there? If I use my mouse wheel, the circle gets bigger. And you can see I can make mountains that way. So I can grab another point here, pull it up. There we go. Okay, make some shoulders for my mountain. Pull this back in, pull it out. I can select several different points and pull them all up. It's pretty cool. I can, I can even select like a bunch of stuff and then pull it down. So I can create like a valley, little ripples in it. Okay, so go ahead, and I can go out of out of object mode here, and I've got this. Okay, now some common mistakes I see students do. I'm just gonna not save it here. Take the cube, add a mesh plane. Okay, so I should scale it up properly. Twenty. Subdivide, 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 subdivide. You can even subdivide it, that's too many times probably. I can make it triangular by pressing Control T. Now there's little triangular bits in my mesh, which is kind of cool. A common mistake I see students make all the time is they turn on proportional editing. Okay, great. And they grab it, 
and they pull it up, pulling it out properly like you're supposed to, and then you swing around and it's sideways. Okay, so we forgot to lock it to the right axis. All right, so make sure when you're pulling it up, you lock it to Z. Unless you're doing it on purpose, like you can create a mountain here, and then you can come in here and then pull it to the side, which you know, looks cool, uh, but make sure you're doing that on purpose, okay? All right, we'll come back another day and learn how to add materials.